Well, a very warm welcome to a series of videos that we'll be putting up on the church website while we're unable to gather as a church. I'm going to start off with some thoughts around Mothering Sunday. Well, this Mothering Sunday, we were going to have a couple of special services focusing on caring, with a particular encouragement to give thanks for mums and all who care. You know, it's a wonderful thing to say thank you to the people who we appreciate and who play a part in helping us in life, whether that's family members, friends, neighbours or whoever. Well, in the services that I had planned, I would have gone on to talk about the fact that the very best expressions of care that people give are just a little picture of how much our Heavenly Father cares for us. But though we can't meet currently as a congregation, we need to know the hope. Jesus is always reminding us that our Father God loves us so much and is always there for us. Our nation and in so many places in the world have been thrown upside down by this coronavirus. It's a very unsettling time. Who do we avoid? Where, are we, where are we allowed to go? You know, caring becomes even more important at a time like this. Know this. God cares. In the Bible, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says this. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I'm going to repeat that. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. God is not laughing at us, mocking us or withdrawing from us, but is with us and for us. We need more than ever to connect with God, spend time with God, talk to him, read his word, share questions, doubts and fears with him. There is talk of appropriate social distancing as we try to minimise risk and it is right to do that. But please don't distance yourself from God. Spiritual distancing only makes things worse. Whatever you feel about life, however things are going for you, get close to God. He cares for you. Know the hope. Also, we must care for one another. We have to do this responsibly, but we are to care. In our homes and neighbourhoods and wherever we find ourselves. Caring changes and improves everything. We are not to be defeated, demoralised and fearful, but life-giving and hope-bringing. The Archbishops are encouraging us to make this Sunday, the 22nd of March, a day of prayer. You know, prayer is a very caring thing to do. For many, a candle will be lit in the window at seven o'clock tomorrow evening as a sign of solidarity and hope that the light of Christ can never be extinguished. Perhaps you may want to join in and light that candle. For seven days, we have been encouraged to pray every time we wash. Perhaps say the Lord's Prayer or pray for the people around you. Conscious of God and the difference he can make. So it is not an easy time for at all. But it is also an opportunity to put caring centre stage. And to put our trust in the God who cares. And to know that in Jesus there is a glorious future. I'm going to finish by reading these words from Romans chapter 8. Here for you, these words of encouragement. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship 
or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword. As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We consider the sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.